Before anything else existed, there was Christ with God. He has always been alive and is himself God. The time came when the Lord God formed a man's body from the dust of the ground and breathed into it the breath of life. When Adam sinned, sin entered the entire human race. His sin spread death throughout all the world. What a contrast between Adam and Christ who was yet to come. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph, but while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. About this time, Caesar Augustus, the Roman Emperor, decreed that a census should be taken throughout the nation. Everyone was required to return to his ancestral home for this registration. And because Joseph was a member of the royal line, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, journeying there from the Galilean village of Nazareth. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born, and she gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the village inn. That night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel appeared among them, and the landscape shone bright with the glory of the Lord. They were badly frightened, but the angel reassured them, saying, Don't be afraid. I bring you the most joyful news ever announced, and it's for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem. How will you recognize him? You will find a baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. They ran to the village and found their way to Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby, lying in the manger. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and he shall be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.